John Shaman back out here live at Digital Domain in Tradition. It was the home for 300 employees who were all given the bad news today that they were losing their job effective immediately. I don't know if you want to read too much into this, but you can see behind me an unbelievable sight, a full rainbow. Although I don't know if it was the gold at the end of the rainbow for, un, for those employees, unfortunately, uh, today. Again, 280 losing their jobs now. Another 20 will remain on site for a little while to wind down the company's operations here in Port St. Lucie. I want to bring in Scripps Treasure Coast News columnist Anthony Westbury, who's watched this grow from the beginning, if you will. And Anthony, I guess the first question is, was there enough due diligence done before the city decided to get involved in such an adventure? Well, John, I guess we thought there was. Um, this was a company with a good track record, and uh, everybody bought into the same dream. It wasn't just the city of Port St. Lucie. It was uh, the county, the state, um, our education system through the Indian River State College. Everybody checked him out and seemed to think it was a good company. They made some good movies, and uh, we assumed that they were going to carry on doing the same thing. And so what's next, Anthony? For, you were just at the press conference with the city officials. Uh, what's their mood? Are they, are they angry? Do they feel duped? I think they feel a little disappointed. I think they feel a little uh, duped that they didn't get any warning that this was going to go ahead. Um, and they are, at the moment, desperately trying to... Uh, work out ways to reduce the liability to the, to the city, then they're going to be, I guess, their first uh, issue is looking for a new tenant for that building. Absolutely. It's a $40 million building. It's a, a, a nice building right here, brand new. Any ideas at this point what might replace uh, Digital Domain? No, nothing. I, I was uh, talking to our reporter earlier, and she said it's a pretty specialized building. I haven't been inside it, but the whole lobby is a movie theater, and I don't know any other companies that need that sort of use, but maybe there are some out there. It's brand new, hardly Anthony used. Westbury, you could read his... Yeah, exactly. Anthony Westbury, thank you much, uh, so much for joining us. You could read Anthony's column in this Sunday's Scripps Treasure Coast newspapers. Just to give you an idea from the Wall Street perspective on how far the digital domain fall was, back in April during the Coachella Music Festival, they had created a 3D hologram of the deceased rapper Tupac Shakur. And back then, that created a lot of buzz. The stock was hovering at about $9.20 a share. Today, the stock closed at just $0.60 cents a share, down 39% on the day. So again, the headline, 300 people losing their jobs as Digital Domain shutters its doors here in Port St. Lucie. We are live in tradition. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.